God feels so good. It's Friday, so you know what that means. Let's welcome tonight's guests. She runs, bikes, and swims. Anything to avoid the cops. Host of Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy. He's the funniest thing to come out of New Jersey since Chris Christie's diet coach. Actor and comedian Vince August. As a former Miss Florida Citrus, she never blames the Jews. <laughs> former State Department spokeswoman and founder of Polaris Asset Security, Morgan Ortega. He's on the naughty list for eating Santa's reindeer. New York Times best-selling author, Sorry. comedian, and former NWA world champion, Tyrus. <laughs> yes, all right. Now, before we get to some new stories, let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Yeah, huh? that's mm. right. It's leftovers where I read the jokes we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading them. So if they suck, we'll send Joe Mackey to a strip club and have Lizzo give him a tap dance. Ooh. <laughs> tap dance? No, you're right. It's tap, tap dance. dance. There you go. <laughs> All right, first up. According to a new study, humans may be fueling global warming by breathing. In response, one high-level Washington official said, well, I guess that means I'm off the hook. <laughs> this week, a Delaware man was arrested for drunk driving after crashing his car into President Biden's motorcade. The first thing <laughs> Joe did was ask the Secret Service if the president was okay. <laughs> Luckily, after the accident, uh, the president regained unconsciousness. <laughs> that is funny. It's okay. No, 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 no. I... I don't need to fish for your applause. <laughs> Jesse Smollett was spotted in public this week reading Matthew Perry's addiction memoir. Smollett is now planning his own memoir titled Matthew Perry Attacked Me. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't think I could get a joke out of that, did you? The new Aquaman movie opens in theaters today. Customers are told not to eat a half hour before watching it. Uh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. It Get Lizzo quick. on the phone. Yes. <laughs> turns that quick. was just, that, that was like. Everyone knows it's 20 wow. minutes, Greg. That's it's reverse laughter. <laughs> <laughs> the Detroit Pistons have now lost 25 straight basketball games. What's a straight basketball game, asks the WNBA. <laughs> I don't know what that means. A new dating study revealed the number one turnoff for straight women is men who identify as MAGA Republicans. And the number one turnoff for straight men, penises. <laughs> that is correct. Every Re year. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Researchers say Barbie lacks diversity. For example, there are no visibly disabled Barbies. Oh, yeah, says Ken, I was born without a penis. <laughs> I mean, that's a disability when you think about it. Scientists in Alaska claim they had a 20-minute conversation with a whale. Apparently, its first words were, up next on The View. <laughs> Commuters in the California Bay Area have been puzzled for months over a lingering, rotting corpse smell on certain trains. But transit officials say it's nothing to be concerned about now that they've pinpointed the source. <laughs> Scientists say you should sleep naked even when it's cold out, as it's better for your body. You know who also says you should sleep naked? Your neighbor, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I have a neighbor named Frank. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Rapino calls playing on the U.S. soccer women's soccer team the worst job in the world. Oh, uh, I know that's news to Brian Kilmeade's intern. <laughs> Why? NASA streamed a video of a cat 
back to Earth from nearly 19 million miles away. It's part of a project to develop a lunar rover that can watch you take a <laughs> That's my favorite. Because <laughs> that's what cats do. A video of a Democrat aide was posted online of him having gay sex in one of the Capitol's meeting rooms. It's the first time someone on Capitol Hill willingly gave up their seat. <laughs> a hospital worker's rant went viral after she received a baked potato as her Christmas bonus. It's a Christmas miracle, said one man. <laughs> oh. That really. Yeah. And finally, this week, a baby elephant was born at Walt Disney World, weighing in at 218 pounds, beating the previous record. <laughs> now to the news. The Washington Post strains to blame Trump for injured brains. WAPO just published another ridiculous article desperately trying to link Trump to something evil. This time, violence and injuries in youth football. Which is ironic, because if anyone is on steroids, it's their owner, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> WAPO suggests Trump's to blame for your kid's football injury because of the politicization of the concussion crisis and how it's forging deeper divisions between those who support youth fo football and those who don't. I got to say, if they can pull that out of their ass, they should really be drug mules. Says one lib egghead, quote, there seems to be a very disturbing possibility that who your dad voted for could influence your risk for a very serious ailment or injury. <laughs> yeah, that's rich. Suddenly liberals are worried about brain damage. <laughs> WAPO also discovered that students in states that went for Trump in 2020 played high school football at higher rates than in states that voted for Joe Biden. The point being, I guess, if a high school football player's father voted for Trump, he's more likely to get hurt because conservative parents don't give a crap about their children's safety. Yeah, remind me to check back on that in a few years when those caring liberals are confronted by sons they neutered with chemical surgery and repeat viewings of the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> But I get the point. Vote for Biden. Your kid won't get a football injury. Yeah, but he might be stabbed by a twice deported murderer or forced to take a vaccine that explodes your heart. So in conclusion, conservative families were more likely to have sons who play tackle football, which means liberal families were more likely to have sons on girls' swim teams. <laughs> After all, your son's place isn't on the gridiron. It's in the girls' locker room where he's tucking more than just a football. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting, I know. <laughs> so, Kennedy, this is like, this is a, it's not just an example of going after Trump. It's, a, it's suggesting that by you supporting Trump, you're complicit in even harming your family. Yeah, but it also states that we have all agreed that football is horrible mm. and you will get injured and you will, be, you will be concussed and therefore it's an awful game because we, mm. the liberal elite, have decided that. And that's not necessarily the case. There are a lot of kids who play football because they love the sport. They hope to go on to college. You can make money playing college in football now. Like, we've never had so much excitement about the transfer portal and because of the NIL and the big decision surrounding that kids might actually make money sooner than if they go pro but they're also they're infantilizing black and latino kids who want to go play football I'm like oh can you believe it now there there are more hispanic kids than ever playing football it's like well good for them yeah. maybe their parents did what serena and venus's dad did and went oh wait where are the guys making all the money oh football i'm gonna go ahead and have my son start that in high school and maybe that will lead to a career and some money down the road mm -hmm. good point vince I think you could do, if you were a fair media, you could apply this same logic to any a, a Biden supporter or a Biden voter. You're more likely, you know, to abort a baby. You're more likely to euthanize a relative. You're more likely to burn down a business. But, but that's the thing about the sea, and, and really, Kennedy set it up. It's football is American. It's mm -hmm. part of our American fiber. And right now, 
anything that's American, let's trash it. Yeah. Because that's what we want to do. We don't want to break everything down. I mean, Super Bowl Sunday is winter's 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that Kenny brought up and the article brings up is that it talks about disadvantaged kids gravitating towards football. Well, if disadvantaged kids are gravitating towards Trump, mm -hmm. who is a country club guy, mm -hmm. and all of the rich people are gravitating towards Democrats, mm -hmm. then isn't that really the problem? Then maybe Democrats, instead of screaming at the problem, should be trying to fix the problem and try to figure out why aren't these disadvantaged kids looking at us and they're looking like a, at a guy like Donald Trump. Yeah. So fix your problem. Don't scream at your problem. Exactly. You know, uh, Morgan, uh, it seems to me that it, it, it's... Uh, it's just another example of what's going to happen for the next year. Anything related to Trump is going to be deemed destructive. Like you, for example. <laughs> That's true. I was the spokesperson. <laughs> it's like, it still gets to me. I mean, it's been since 2015, and the extent that he still lives rent free in people's heads, you know, mm -hmm. like, it, this is an important article, right? Because there are concussions in football. But to think at the Washington Post, they sat around and thought, I have a great angle to concussions with kids. Trump. <laughs> right? Yes. Like, who? I, I live in Nashville, and like, people are doing their thing. They're not sitting around obsessively talking about Joe Biden every time you have dinner. But I do have a theory on this too, sort of similar to what you guys were saying. I, I think that liberals don't like, uh, they don't like to define genders, right? They don't like things that are male or things that are, that are female. Everything is fluid, uh, according to them. And so football is like very, I mean, I'm not the resident football expert at Fox News, but it's very machismo, it's very male, it's, it's very type A. And um, but what I am expert on, as you said, uh, beauty pageants, because mm -hmm. that was Miss Florida's interest. And so even something like that, very feminine, fit, like fits the stereotype. So anything that fits a stereotype of male or female to them is bad, and anything bad must be Trump's fault. That's a really good point. This could just be about gender. What say you, Tyrus? You played a lot of ball. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> he did, you know. Yeah, you know what? Oh. I don't know when it was. Was it the 50s when they stopped allowing you to punch people in the face? Yes. <laughs> 1953. I think we need to bring that back. <laughs> Applauding violence. This is my kind of audience. Yeah, it's my, my audience, too. Thanks for coming, St. Nick. Um, <clears throat> this is the echo chamber. Because mm -hmm. nobody whose kids plays any competitive sports gives a about what they're talking about. Yeah. So true. Because if you play baseball, you could get hit in the head with the ball. Right. If you walk fast to the kitchen on a Saturday morning <laughs> with sleep in your eye, you could fall and bust your nose open. Mm. This is the bulldozer parents. Mm. These are the kids that, that want to raise their sons to pee sitting down. Yeah. So yeah. they can sit. They, Wait, they what's wrong with that? <laughs> you did it for medical purposes. That's true. That's you true. You lost the lawsuit trying to get toilets dropped three feet to the floor. <laughs> yes. I get it. We even got your little toddler foot thing for you. <laughs> I know. The squatty potty. But we wanted him to feel like a big man, so yes. we said, listen, I told him, all the tough guys sit down when they pee. Right? Yeah. It's a new thing. Just don't tell anybody I told you. But the, the point is, is that they say these things because they're, they can't fathom seeing more Trump-like men mm. coming into this world. Guys who are willing to take risks Mm. get beat up, say the wrong thing, mm -hmm. be men. It's anti-men. We went through the yeah. whole thing where they want to steal our women away. Mm -hmm. We had the Devin Mulvaney's in woman face. <laughs> and now it's, oh, my God, if you don't do something to stop these boys from playing sports, they keep them out of jail. Mm -hmm. keep the, they learn things like discipline, mm -hmm. respect. And even if it doesn't lead to a career in football, it keeps them in school, gives them opportunities for college. Helps them to understand what a hard day's work is. Mm -hmm. Structure. There's nothing yeah. tougher in the summertime than having 45 pounds of plastic on with an old guy blowing a whistle telling you, two more gassers. And gassers is not hurting the environment. It's when you run <laughs> up and down 100 <laughs> yards back and forth. Ooh. It builds character. It builds me also guys going to the military from there. So they're against everything. It is the very fabric of what it is to be an American man. And so on behalf of all of us... Whatever, call your local congressman and let's reinstate the punch in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and when I was a kid, everything gave us concussions. Riding bikes, playing yeah. in parks, parents, everything concussed <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You weren't best friends unless you concussed each other. Exactly. That's how it worked. You can't spell concussed without U.S.
<laughs> I thought you were going to say us. I was too, but then I just went U.S. Yeah. Which makes you ass. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.